Hey guys, just a quick video today. Um, fan of my channel, you'll know that I really adore these watercraft, especially the ones from the 90s. Just love them. Um, and uh, putting this one back together, I just thought that I would make a quick video um, just to demonstrate some of the features of this that make this such a fascinating machine. Um, so this Sea-Doo here has, obviously it has an engine in a sealed compartment and it's on the water. We need to somehow get air into this Sea-Doo so that the engine can breathe and run without the engine ingesting water. And it's quite the challenge when you've got a watercraft that is designed to be, um, you know, this is a fun machine and in the 90s we got wet, <laughs> you know, like if you just look at the back of the back decal here, it's telling you which way to flip this thing over if it flips over. And we used to flip these over all the time. Um, and, you know, uh, I used to take, try and dunk these underwater. I've had them temporarily underwater before. And uh, they come up fine, just fine. And the engine is, uh, is good every time. So how, how do we get the air into this thing without getting the air into the engine. So there's a few very clever ways that this this happens and so it starts with these grills here. Um, this is a, not only is this very a cool looking piece but it is also a very functional piece too. So let's have a look at this these two <clears throat> air dams here. Um, so that is one of the um, places where the air can enter the sea -Doo. And it comes into this um, this plastic structure here. Let's get some tubes in the way. It comes into this plastic structure. You can see we've got two air dams, and then it goes up and has a little sort of piece up top here. So you see how this is. And then there's another piece that hooks onto the bottom of here that kind of redirects the air to the side over here and that that looks like that is uh, that's this piece right here just kind of kind of hooks on and directs the air to the rear the rear of, of the hull so you can see if and when water does enter that thing um, it has to go to the highest point here to actually physically enter the uh, the hull and if it does enter the hull if any water doesn't enter the hull it's going to come down here and immediately get picked up by these baler these baler pumps which is powered by the the pump um, the, the jet pump and uh, it's gonna exit the ski but you see that we just they're constantly using the forces of gravity to separate the air and the water so for the water to to make its way up those air dams and through here it, it's uh, it's pretty difficult for it to do and as you see at the highest point here we have another tube that's actually broken i gotta fix that that is for the uh that tube there actually hooks to the uh the battery or sorry, no, it's the oil pump. So this here, that connects to the, sorry, not the oil pump, the oil reservoir. And uh, that makes it so that the oil reservoir doesn't um, get locked up. Um, so, so the oil reservoir actually breathes through, through this little tube here, through this air dam. So it's very important that, uh, that this is uh, not, a, you know, not permanently obstructed. That's actually how the oil reservoir breathes through through here, which is really interesting. And of course, we've got a fuel system here too, and the fuel tank can't be completely sealed because that has to breathe as well. The pump has to be able to suck the fuel through, and um, that's accomplished through this front grill right here, which again, really cool, neat looking grill here, but also very functional as well. So the air is going to come in through here and then we have another kind of air dam structure on this side of the uh, jet ski, um, which we'll, we'll have a, a look at as well. So we've got this um, sort of plastic piece here. It's a little dark, I realize it's hard to see, 
but um, it's this whole plastic structure and um, we've got two tubes coming out of here out of the bottom of it and those two tubes run out to the side of the uh, Sea-Doo and also if we look here you're going to see that it, there's a little rubber grommet there uh, which is high up and so what happens is when, if, if and when water gets into this thing it basically just drains by the forces of gravity will drain out the side here and um, and, and it allows the air to enter through the highest point um, underneath here it's kind of underneath and up so it directs the water through these tubes and then we've got this little air breather here and that hooks into the fuel system there's a tube that is where where are we here this little tube here hooks into that grommet which goes into the fuel tank so that the fuel tank can breathe doesn't get locked up and there's actually two points where that that happens there's that the, the little grommet in here actually there's another tube that comes up here and there's supposed to be another little grommet here rubber grommet where the fuel tank can breathe here so when the hood goes down that little grommet there kind of meshes up with this little hole here which you know I'm gonna have to redo this and um, so the fuel tank, you know, let's say, let's say that the hull gets filled with water. Well, we don't want to be sucking, sucking it through here then. That's going to get blocked off. And instead of being sucked through there, it's going to get its air from here, way up top on this hood. So this hood is hollow. See, it's cracked here. I've got to fix that. This hood is hollow. And there are points at which air can come in. But the, the water can't like it's hard for the water to come up in there right so this is all filled with air so the fuel tank is actually breathing through this hood and I think that that's fantastic <laughs> so a lot of people don't don't realize the, the 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 functionality involved in these in these body pieces so yeah and that's especially true with the GTX from this year too the 92 GTX that hood there is a very clever clever design that allows air to come in air and water and it separates the water and the air allows the air into the uh, engine bay and redirects the water into the hull so that it can get picked up by the baler baler uh, pumps the baler pumps are were are actually kind of interesting too. Let's have a look at a pump, see if I can find one. If we look at the we look at this pump here, there are two tubes right here. And they're connected to the nozzle. Two little tubes here connected to the nozzle. And the nozzle has a very important function. It that the nozzle is actually the thing that creates the the suction that sucks the the water out of the hull. The the water that makes its way into the hull is ejected through these two tubes here. It gets sucked out this way and the, it's really all because the nozzle design uses sort of the, the Bernoulli effect to suck the water out. So if you look at the design of the nozzle, let's look, uh, let's look at this nozzle here. The nozzle has two little holes here that mesh up with that pump and if you look carefully if you look carefully see those two holes you can see there you go you can see there's two holes there that you know and when the water's rushing through this nozzle um, there you go you can see them there there's two holes there when the water's rushing through this nozzle it um, by uh, uh, the Bernoulli effect creates an area of low pressure and um, sucks the water out of the hull so it's actually not even an electric uh, bilge pump it, it's basically just it's using the energy of the water coming through the pump to get the water out of the hull which is 
an ingenious design. And um, yeah, and through these baler pickups here, which go underneath these metal things, and it's such a cool design. It's a very neat machine. So, um, so yeah, that's how a Sea-Doo watercraft breathes, and they all do it differently. Um, they all have slightly different body designs, but um, you know, just understand that <clears throat> all of these hoods and body pieces have a very important function. So anyways, guys, that's the video for today, and I hope you enjoyed that video, and stay tuned to the channel. I'm just about to put the fuel, the entire fuel system back into this uh, ski, so excited to do that. We've got some repairs to make here. I've got to repair the, the baffle, and um, yeah, we're having fun today. i got a couple of days off, so uh, trying to get as much work done as possible. So... Thanks for tuning into the channel, guys. If you have any questions, um, please leave a comment. And uh, if you have anything to add to this video, then um, yeah, please leave it in the comments. Um, and uh, we'll see you soon.